13 haunted places in the world. 13. The Whaley House, California. Author DeTracy Regula states that, quote, over the years while dining across the street at the Old Town Mexican Cafe, I became accustomed to noticing that the shutters of the second story windows of the Wally House would sometimes open while we ate dinner, long after the house was closed for the day. On a recent visit, I could feel the energy in several spots in the house, particularly in the courtroom, where I also smelled the faint scent of a cigar, supposedly Whaley's calling card. In the hallway, I smelled perfume, initially attributing that to the young woman acting as docent, but some later surreptitious sniffing in her direction as I talked to her about the house revealed her to be scent free. 12. Eastern State Penitentiary Opened in 1829, Eastern State is considered to be the first true penitentiary. Its revolutionary system of incarceration, dubbed the Pennsylvania system, originated and encouraged solitary confinement as a form of rehabilitation. In June of 2007, a well-known TV show by the name of Most Haunted went live to the penitentiary. Two of the crew members passed out while investigating the prison. They have claimed this building to be, quote, the most evil place they have ever been. 11. Borley Rectory, Essex, England. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, Borley Rectory is without a doubt one of the most famous haunted buildings in Britain. The wealth of sightings and experiences by independent witnesses suggests that although much of the phenomena can be explained in rational terms, a percentage remains which can still be seen as inexplicable at the present time. 10. The Myrtles Plantation, Louisiana Built in 1796 by General David Bradford, the Myrtles Plantation is known as one of America's most haunted homes, as it has been said that the plantation is supposedly home to at least 12 ghosts. It has also been reported that 10 murders occurred in the house, but historical records only indicate the murder of William Winter. Possibly the most well-known of the Myrtles' supposed ghosts, Chloe, was reportedly a slave owned by Clark and Sarah Woodruff. 9. Waverly Hills Sanatorium, Kentucky Waverly Hills Sanatorium, located in Louisville, Kentucky, opened in 1910 as a two-story hospital to accommodate 40 to 50 patients who have tuberculosis. In media, it has been said to be the most haunted hospital in the U.S. Shows such as Scariest Places on Earth, Celebrity Paranormal Project, and Ghost Hunters have all covered this hospital and all of its paranormal activities, including unexplained shadows, screams, and isolated cold spots. 8. Hotel Chelsea, New York A Bohemian landmark, the Hotel Chelsea was built between 1883 and 1885. Although it was the home of countless artists, authors, poets, and musicians, it is perhaps best known as the place where Sex Pistols bassist Sid Vicious stabbed his girlfriend Nancy Spungen to death. Vicious himself died of a heroin overdose before the case could be brought to trial. Poet Dylan Thomas was staying at the Chelsea when he fell into his fatal coma. He died later in the hospital. But it's possible that Sid Vicious and Dylan Thomas never left the Hotel Chelsea after all. Their ghosts have been spotted wandering its halls, along with playwright Eugene O'Neill and novelist Thomas Wolfe. Other guests have reported all manner of paranormal phenomena, from cold air to phantom footsteps to lights that switch on and off at will. The hotel has since gone through renovation work. 7. Talbot Hotel, Oundle, England Fotheringay Castle was built circa 1100. It had a colorful history, being the birthplace of Richard III, whose remains were actually found last year beneath a parking lot of all places, as well as the place where Mary, Queen of Scots, was tried and beheaded. By the 1600s, the castle had fallen into ruin and was razed, but not before parts of it were salvaged. Most notable was the castle's oak staircase, which found its way into the nearby Talbot Hotel of Oundle, Northamptonshire. Legend has it that Mary walked down those very stairs on the way to her execution, leaving the mark of a crown on the wood from a ring she was wearing. Even though she has been dead for over 400 years, Mary has not slept easy. Her ghost has been seen walking down the staircase, furniture has been moved around, and a portrait of Mary has been known to leap from the wall. 6. Fairmont Banff Springs Hotels, Banff, Canada Oh come on, look at this place. 
It has Haunted written all over it. It looks like a modern mashup between Dracula's castle and an insane asylum. Located high in the Canadian Rockies, the Fairmount Banff Springs Hotel calls to mind a beautiful medieval castle in the wilderness. The Fairmont management adamantly denies any ghostly activity, but stories abound. One spirit frequently witnessed is that of a bride allegedly killed in a tragic accident right before walking down the aisle. The other, far more whimsical tale, involves an elderly bellhop named Sam McCauley. Sam so adored the hotel that after he passed, he continued to work there. Guests report a white-haired bellhop helping them, only to vanish before they have a chance to tip him. 5. The White House, Washington, D.C. Yet another world-famous building on the list that you wouldn't think would be on this list. The White House is actually notorious for being haunted. President Harrison is said to be heard rummaging around in the attic of the White House, and President Andrew Jackson is thought to haunt his White House bedroom. The most frequently cited presidential ghost has been that of Abraham Lincoln. Eleanor Roosevelt once stated she believed she felt the presence of Lincoln watching her as she worked in the Lincoln bedroom. Also, during the Roosevelt administration, a young clerk claimed to have actually seen the ghost of Lincoln sitting on a bed pulling off his boots. 4. Edinburgh Castle, Edinburgh, Scotland So, alone, Edinburgh has been said to be the most haunted city in all of Europe, and the most haunted spot has been said to be Edinburgh Castle. On various occasions, visitors to the castle have reported a phantom piper, a headless drummer, the spirit of French prisoners from the Seven Years' War, and colonial prisoners from the American Revolutionary War, even the ghost of a dog wandering in the grounds Dog Cemetery. 3. The Queen Mary, California Now transformed into a hotel, the RMS Queen Mary is an ocean liner that used to sail the North Atlantic Ocean from 1936 to 1967 before it was purchased by the city of Long Beach, California. The most haunted area of the ship is the engine room, where a 17-year-old sailor was crushed to death trying to escape a fire. Knocking and banging on the pipes around the door has been heard and recorded by numerous people. In what is now the front desk area of the hotel, visitors have seen the ghost of a lady in white. Ghosts of children are also said to haunt the ship's pool. 2. Rainham Hall, Norfolk, England for 300 years, Raynham Hall in Norfolk, England has been the seat of the Townshend family. The hall gave its name to the area, known as East Raynham, and is reported to be haunted, providing the scene for possibly the most famous ghost photo of all time, which shows a brown lady descending down the stairs, with the image itself having a very paranormal feel to the photo. However, there have been no signs of paranormal activity in the building since. One. The Tower of London Probably one of the most iconic locations in London, the Tower of London is a historic monument that sits on the north bank of the River Thames. Well, it's believed to be haunted, as people have claimed to have seen the spirit of Anne Boleyn, one of the wives of Henry VIII, who was also beheaded in the Tower in 1536. Her ghost has been spotted on many occasions, sometimes carrying her head on Tower Green and in the Tower Chapel Royal.